Hey guys, this is Gary again. Um, we're going to talk today about water and why it's so important and what makes Nikian water so different from other water. Uh, first, I wanted to share with you these two quotes. I love these quotes. Thomas Edison, who many consider the uh, smartest man that the U.S. has ever produced, or at least uh, of this decade, uh, this uh, hundred year period, uh, Thomas Edison about the turn of the century said that the doctor of the future will give no medicine but will interest his patients in the care of the human frame, in diet, and in the prevention of disease. And of course medicine has moved uh, exactly opposite of this direction. We're more of the let's treat the symptoms than we are of uh, trying to figure out what's causing the disease in the first place and stopping the disease before it actually develops. Uh, this is also an excerpt from a 1908 New Yorker magazine article. The day is near at hand when the doctor will no longer be engaged to patch up the sick man, but to prevent him from getting sick. He will visit families, examine the premises, inspect factories and shops, and give instructions to his patients on how to keep from getting sick. This is exactly what a Nikon Wellness Consultant does. Uh, this is not what medicine does today. Uh, it's, it's not medicine's fault. It's, it's what, what has occurred is where medicine is driven by economics today. Uh, but it, a little over a hundred years ago, this was written and it just, it just floors me that how opposite from this that we, we've moved. But let's move on. Of course, I do work with Nikin. I am a Nikin wellness consultant. I'm very proud of that fact. I don't know if any of you noticed, but this building that you're seeing here, if you ever watch uh, No Ordinary Family, this is the building that they, the wife works in. She works for some big company that's in research and development. It was actually uh, in the first Iron Man movie. It was uh, Stark Enterprises. Uh, it's been in hundreds of movies. I even wrote a blog about it, about how many movies that it had been in. Founded in 1975 in Japan, 35 years of great service, billions in sales. They actually did 5.5 billion before they ever uh, came to the United States. Uh, 5A1 Dun & Bradstreet rating. Doesn't get any better than that. Harley Davidson has a 4A1 to give you a idea where that uh, of the uh, contrast, they are debt free, and of course have millions of satisfied customers. Uh, did you know the World Health Organization estimates that the life expectancy of the U.S. ranks 49th in the world? Now, I, this was actually from 2009, and I checked just the other day, and in 2010, the U.S. zoomed into 48th place which means that uh, this is inaccurate. Uh, we've moved up a spot, so instead of there being 48 countries where the citizens live longer than we do, now there's only 47. Uh, I still find that unacceptable. This is not U.S. bashing, this is just being a realist. Uh, we spend more than anyone else in the world, and yet we rank 48th as far as how long our citizens live. This is, this is an outrage. Uh, why wellness? Here's the math. The U.S. is number 24th as far as the health of its citizens, yet we're number one in spending. We spend 90% of our dollar on intervention, what I call treat the symptoms. Whereas if you look at Japan, they're number one in health and they're 24th in spending just the opposite of what we do in the U.S. They spend 90% on prevention and only 10% on intervention. Uh, there, there has to be a shift in paradigm in this country, a shift in thinking. We have to start thinking, let's, let's prevent getting sick in the first place. Uh, the results do say it all. Did you know 75% of North Americans are chronically dehydrated? 37% mistake thirst for hunger. Uh, I read a statistic the other day that said that 
most of what people uh, uh, think is that or is the impulse for eating. In other words, they they say, "Oh, I'm hungry." They're really not hungry; they're thirsty. But they think, "Oh, I just drank that cola, or I just drank that Gatorade, or I just drank that whatever water." I can't be thirsty. I must be hungry. So they eat, and as such, they're overweight. So if you give your body water and the right kind of water, then you can and will lose weight. Water and aging are directly related. It's been shown that the water content of the body does decrease as we age. It produces wrinkling and a withering effect. You can see when we're a fetus inside the body, the, our mama's bodies, we're almost 100% water. At birth, we're 80%, a normal adult about 70%, and by the time we eat, reach uh, an advanced age, we're only 50% water. We've dried out. But aging is the loss, not of just any kind of water. It's the loss of hexagonal water from our organs and tissues and cells. And we're gonna, I'm going to show you in just a second what hexagonal water is. Now, here is a simple test. We know that 75% of North Americans are chronically dehydrated. But here is what it's called a turtle test. I don't know how y'all say it, T-U-D-O-R. Uh, and what you do is you hold your hand limp. You pinch the skin on the back of your hand. If it stays wrinkled, you're dehydrated. If it snaps back flat, then you're hydrated. So it's a simple test. You can give it to yourself. You can give it to other people to find out if they are indeed dehydrated or not. Okay, most water does not have the correct geometry to pass through the membranes of the cells. This is true. What, what do we mean by that? Well, if you look at water, water has a positive and a negative charge, just like a magnet does. So water molecules tends to cluster. They stick together. Pure water, there's nothing in, in there to interfere with their clustering. And there's usually 13 to 15 molecules in a cluster. Rain will have 10 to 13. Mineral water will have a little less because there's minerals in there that keep the wa water from clustering into such large clusters, 8 to 13. Structured water has only 6 molecules in it. Okay, and this is this is so important. Six molecules. Uh, there's no question. This is Dr. Mayfield that hexagonally structured water provides more rapid hydration because it's of its link to so many functions. Hexagonal water jump starts numerous bodily functions, and and I routinely do tests and show people that with structured water they are stronger. Large water clusters will not hydrate the cell. The body has to break these down into smaller clusters. Any cluster larger than six cannot penetrate into the body. It has to be clusters of six or less or it will not pass through the membrane. Your body can't even absorb it. Now the body is, a, is an amazing organism. It has the ability to break these clusters down itself so that it can absorb them. Uh, if it didn't, you'd thirst to death. Uh, but uh, I know I've done it before. Many of you may have too. When you drank, when you were really, really thirsty, and you drank a lot of water, and then you realized it was on your belly, and you could slosh it around. You could move yourself around. You could feel the water sloshing inside you. The reason is because uh, the water molecules were too large and could not be absorbed readily by the body. It had to be broken down first. That's why it's in your stomach waiting for that process to occur. So we say s clusters of six, which makes it hexagonal water. What exactly is hexagonal water? Well, this is what it looks like. The O's are uh, atoms of oxygen. The H's are atoms of hydrogen, H2O, two atoms of hydrogen and one of oxygen per water molecule. And when you put water in a cluster of six, this is what it looks like. And when I show this in front of an audience, I say, what does that look like? And some people say a star. Star's round. Sorry. It looks like snowflakes. Snowflakes are six-sided as well. There are, there are many things in nature 
that are six-sided. Snowflakes are six. Do you think it's a coincidence that we're made up of hexagonal water and snowflakes are six-sided? I don't think so. Now, one thing that's unique about this is you'll notice that all the hydrogen atoms are on the outside of the cluster. Now, hydrogen has a negative charge, and what this does is it's giving off an electrical uh, or a, a electromagnetic field. It actually is radiating energy. It is alive. It is actually giving off energy. Anything that gives off energy is alive. Anything that does it is dead. This is giving off energy. You're giving off energy. You don't believe you? Fill your head. It'll feel warm. You're giving off heat. You're giving off all sorts of energy. Well, this water, when it's structured like this, it too gives off water, and we can prove it through a process known as Corellium photography. Now, Corellium photography will pick up electromagnetic fields if they are present. Now, ordinary water, you'll notice it it's not giving off anything. It's not glowing. But look at structured water, or what we call pi water, or pi mag water. You notice it's glowing. It is living water. It, it is giving off energy. So another thing that's so important with water is the alkalinity of water. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, water molecules will break down into hydrogen and uh, into ions, a hydrogen ion and an and a OH ion. Of course, now they cannot really exist in nature in that way. What they'll do is they will attach itself to another water molecule, and what you'll have is uh, an oxygen in three hydrogens or an oxygen in one hydrogen. Now, the more H3O you have, the more acidic anything is or, or a solution is. The more OH you have, the more alkaline something is. Now this is straight chemistry. Now your body's pH affects everything. The human blood stays in a very narrow pH range right around 7.3. Below the 7.365 or above it, then you'll start to develop problems and disease. Terminal cancer patients are around 1,000 times more acidic than normal healthy people. Now, one of the reasons that I put this slide in here is if you'll notice at 5.8, the body has to have a, a acidity of 5.8 before cancer cells can begin to form. It cannot, cancer cannot form unless it has a very acidic environment to form in. Now the human body cannot sustain life anything below 3.5. Now why is that important? Well, <laughs> we're routinely putting things in our body that are far below 3.5. Now if you'll notice when the body reaches 6.8, that's when you run into problems, when it gets into that acidity. Now two, if it's too alkaline, you will run into problems. Now this next slide will show you some common drinks and where the acidity level is. Now if you'll notice cola on this is 2.5, I usually say 2.8, it ranges right in that 2.5, 2.8 range. Now remember anything below 3.5 the body cannot sustain life. What I routinely tell people is not to t put anything in them that's below 5. Okay, Anything below 5 you're just eating a hole in yourself. The reason is that anything below five burns a hole in the body. So what does the body do? You drink a Coke, uh, or I'm sorry, not a Coke, <laughs> a cola. Uh, you drink a cola with a pH of 2.8. It'll dissolve a nail in about four days. Gatorade's no better, 3.2? That's way too acidic for the body, okay? now. In order to take 12 ounces of soda from 2.8 to 5 requires 3 grams of calcium. Now where do you think the body gets that from? It gets it from your bones and your cartilage. So that's the only place the body has to withdraw it from. So every time you drink a soda of 12 ounces 
or take in 16 ounces of Gatorade, your body goes into your skeletal system and withdraws 3 grams of calcium, of minerals, to alkalize it, to bring it up to 5. Not to bring it up to 7.3 where it wants to stay, but just to bring it to 5. And uh, then we wonder why we're suffering from osteoporosis. We wonder why we're suffering from arthritis. What we're doing is we're depleting the mineral stores of our skeletal system. We're depleting the mineral stores of our cartilage and of our bones. Now, tap water is also acidic. So what can we do? Well, pie mag water, which is what I drink, it's all I drink. So let's look at how filtered it is. This is a representation. The larger circle is a human hair, 50 microns. The smaller circle is a white blood cell, 25 microns. And the little dot is 0.5 microns. This is how small that Nikian water is filtered. Here you have it again. This is uh, Cryptosporidium is the orange. A Gallardia cisk is the big pink. Now those, if you've got uh, chlorinated water, those critters are, are, are dead. They're in your water, but they're dead. They're not filtered out. Their little carcasses are still floating around in it, but not in my water. You can see the green dot is a representation of just how filtered Pimag water is. 0.5. Now, for, first let me, let me go over this. Once it's filtered, whether it's in an aquapore or in one of our countertop or under the counter units, 17 trace minerals necessary for good health are put back in that water. 17, so that your body doesn't have to withdraw anything out of, out of your system. It's already there ready for you. So what does this do? Here are two tomatoes taken out of the same bag. One on the left was soaked for two hours in tap water. One on the right, two hours in pie water. And it was left there for 36 days. Now the same thing is going to happen to the cells in your body. So would you rather have the cells in your body look like the tomato on the right or the tomato on the left? It's a pretty easy choice. Again, two oranges, same bag. One on the left was uh, uh, soaked in pie water. One on the right was rinsed off in tap water, and this was after 15 days. Do you want your cells to deteriorate, or do you want your cells to remain viable? Love this slide. Four sweet potatoes taken out of the same bag. Uh, put in a mayonnaise jar. Water was changed out every week for five weeks. From left to right, it's tap water, reverse osmosis water, which most bottled water is well water which did pretty good and pie mag water so I tell people you can either flourish or you can wither it's a pretty easy choice isn't it I don't know if you can pick up the sound on this or not so I'm gonna skip this slide you really need to look at this slide it's on another uh, it's on another um, uh, blog that I did I will put a link on the text to this so that you can look at it and listen to it. So uh, th this is a great slide. It'll show you what structured alkaline water, how it affects the blood. It's a, it's a remarkable slide. Oops, my phone's going off. Now, healthy tissue is made of hexagonal water. Okay, when you drink hexagonal water from your optimizer, you'll notice that it does not sit in your mouth or in your stomach. It rapidly hydrates your body. Remember, we said 75% of North Americans are chronically dehydrated. So this tells you why we need this hexagonal water. Did you know the disease in early death is more likely to be seen with long-term drinking of purified water? This is distilled water or water that's been put through reverse osmosis. And in the Orient, they call reverse osmosis water hungry water or death water, or I've heard it referred to as the water of death. And that's what bottled water is. That's what most people are drinking. We, we have to educate them. Now, there are problems in bottled water. 
there are contaminant problems. If the bottle gets 100 degrees, then the plastic's going to leach into the water. Okay, and I know you may not have it 100 degrees in your house, but did it get 100 degrees in the back of the truck that was delivered to the grocery store? You, you don't know. And the plastic in that has has uh, health problems or can cause health problems. It is very much like, uh, there's my phone, sorry folks. It is very much like estrogen, taking estrogen. Uh, of course, bottled water is uncontrolled. Uh, in other words, it's not checked out by the government to see if it's contaminated or not. You don't know what's in the water. A lot of it's just uh, city water anyway or municipal from a municipal water supply. Read on the label to find out what's where your uh, bottled water came from. There is a huge disposal problem of all the plastics. You know, that plastic lasts a long time when you bury it. And it costs more than gasoline. We all fuss about what gas costs, but we're paying more for our bottled water. And bottled water will not carry a current. This may be more important than anything. Bottled water is mostly reverse osmosis water or pure water. And pure water is an insulator. And your body is an electrical circuit. Uh, Pimag water will carry a current. It's set up exactly what the body wants. Now, when the, what happens with pure water or bottled water when you put it in again the body will change that water it will withdraw the minerals it needs out of your bones and cartilage put it into the water so that it'll carry a current it, it cannot absorb water that is an insulator into the body something would shut down because everything in your body is dependent on that electrical current dangers in the shower you actually absorb more chemicals, more contaminants in the shower than you do in the water that you're drinking or the water that you're cooking in. Uh, a hot shower will open your pores up and your body acts like a sponge. I did a uh, uh, experiment or a, presen uh, uh, a presentation of just how fast the body absorbs chlorine with my daughter and granddaughter. I'll put a link to it on this uh, the text from here but chlorine is just one of the contaminants that you're absorbing uh, the bigger problem is the steam that you're inhaling I don't know if you've ever gotten out of the shower and been dizzy and thought oh I had the water too hot well it wasn't the water that was too hot it's just that the chlorine becomes a gas at a much lower temperature than the water does and you're breathing it into your lungs and those chemical vapors are irritants to your lungs and your bronchial tubes. It's actually been shown that if you shower in chlorinated water you're more apt to have asthma or problems relating to your bronchial tubes. Uh, the inhaled chemicals aren't filtered either. They go directly into your bloodstream and it has a magnified effect on your body to chemicals that you take in when you're eating or when you're drinking because those are at least filtered through the liver and kidney. Uh, the longer the shower, the greater the concentration of the chlorine gas. And chlorine is uh, considered a leading cause of hair loss, thinning hair, and wrinkling of the skin. So, I mean, even Dr. Oz on Oprah Winfrey and on his show says, do not shower in chlorinated water. It's horrible for you. Get out of the water. Filter your water. So what do we do? Well, Nikin makes a fantastic water filter. It not only uh, stops your body from absorbing all the chlorine, but it also makes the water more alkaline. There was a recent article, well, first of all, Dr. Robert Morris, he says there's a clear pattern between the consumption of chlorinated water and rectal and bladder cancer. And we absorb most of our chlorine in the shower. And the EPA has raised skin absorption of chlorine to its top 10 carcinogen watch list. Now, carcinogen is anything that causes cancer. So they know. And now so do you. 
So what's the best thing you can do for your hair and skin? Well, Elle Magazine did an article in 2003, and they went out and they asked everybody that was in the know, and they were expecting some lotion or potion or shampoo, and the number one answer was to buy a knee-kin shower head. It changed the water into a form that was good for your hair and skin. And here's a little reprint of the article. So what can living in a wellness home do for me? People ask all the time. Well, I want to introduce you to Annie. Annie has a disease called eczema. And she started when she was a year and a half old. And you see in the left column what the doctors was giving her. Giving her steroids and all these creams and all these, these medicines. And poor Annie wasn't getting any better. This is what she looked like. Look at, look at how dry her hair is. Look at the skin on her face. Well, Annie was introduced to someone from a company called Nikin, a wellness consultant. And this is what Annie looked like after six months of living in a wellness home, okay? The products she used had no side effects. There's a list of them, the Aquapore water system. Annie calls it power water. Shower head, sleep system, kids' strides, necklace, on and on. She was immersed in a shower in a uh, wellness home, and here's what she looked like. Do I need to back up and show you what it went from? Oh my God! Two. Just, it's just amazing. Now, where will you be a year from today if nothing changes? You know, people are always saying, oh, my elbow hurts or my knee hurts or my back hurts. It's not getting any better. Or I don't have any money. Or you know, what, whatever your challenge is. If you keep on doing what you've always done, you're going to keep on getting what you've always got. See this fellow here? He keeps hitting his head on the wall, and he's expecting something to change. Well, it's not going to change. He's just going to keep hitting his head on the wall. It's the definition of insanity. Doing the same thing over and over again, but expecting a different result. If you're not getting the results you want, whether it is financial results or if it's your health that you're not getting the results you you want stop doing the same thing stop being like this little stick guy and beating your head on the wall step outside the box look at the people that are being successful we in the US are not successful 47 countries live longer than we do 23 countries are healthier than we are you have to look at something different. I hope this helps, and I hope we learn something. So, good luck. Until next time, this is Gary.